in this video with a moon texture I'm gonna use some different uh, materials like uh, air dry clay, easy structure, stru structure paste, 3D scent from Powertex and um, some tools to make the holes in, in the texture like an egg and the end of a palette knife and the end of a pencil and for the colors I used Colorex from Bebeo and some acrylic paint uh, from Golden. I use blue and yellow and that makes also the green. And of course the gesso to blend all the colors. Let's take a closer look to the texture. You can see I built up the texture and you can also see the beautiful cracks and the holes I made in the clay. Let's begin with uh, some glue and the clay and building up the texture with clay. This is how I built up my texture with clay. I use a uh, cheap children's clay for this. And I work on a round canvas of uh, 40 centimeters. I can easily smooth the clay with the water. You can also use your fingers of course. Use some tools to make the hole. Holes in the in the clay. I use a, an egg, but you can use anything you like. Also, the end of a pellet knife works well, as you can see. And I love to use a wire brush to make some extra texture in my uh, clay. This is some um, crackle paste I made from Easy 3D Flex and Gesso and you can find this technique in another video. I will link uh, this uh, down below. I will work with my big palette knife, um, first cleaning it of course and spray some water <laughs> and then I'm going to use it uh, for the crackle paste. I say crackle paste, but you can see it's almost like a clay. The, the water ensures that um, pellet knife glides smoothly over the texture. Now 
Now I'm going to use the easy structure from uh, Powertex. I'm going to mix it with some 3D sand to make a rougher texture. So you can see I have three uh, different kinds of textures, the clay, the crackle paste and the mix with uh, easy structure mixed with the sand, the 3D sand. Time to bring some uh, colors in my painting and I use the blues and the yellows from different brands like the Colorex and the um, Golden High Fluid. And I like to spread uh, the colors with the water. Here you can see I uh, when I put yellow next to the blue there will be a beautiful green. Almost finished, but I like to blend my colors always with some gesso and it's a beautiful way and easy way to blend your colors. The colors will come softly through the gesso and you get a beautiful um, blending of the colors and on the deeper parts of your texture the color will uh, be darker and the color on top will be lighter and so you get some uh, depth in your painting. Here you can see that um, when I go over the cracks the uh, cracks will be darker from color and it's more interesting your texture becomes more interesting this way. Some deeper parts of the texture I will give some extra color with, uh, with uh, lemon yellow and uh, ultramarine blue. 